But folks, frankly, it's more important to hear what you think and not what comes out of my big gob. So should we curb free speech online to avoid cause and offence? That's what our East Midlands reporter, fantastic bloke, Will Hollis, has been asking you in Loughborough. I don't think they should be able to stop people from saying whatever they want to say, but I think there should be something to make sure people are held more accountable for what they say, um, especially when it causes harm to others and it's anonymous and they have no repercussions from it. I think in an ideal world, yes, um, but it's not always as simple as that because there's always different types of contexts and different types of situations, so it's very difficult, but if anyone can figure out a way how to do that, yes, to reduce harm to others, I think that would be great. I think a big part of it is also where to draw the line with, with free speech. I mean, you can... Obviously, there's, there's opinions on where you should draw the line, but actually finding that line is an extremely difficult task. I understand people's concerns of censorship and I'm worried that it's taking away their right to free speech and everybody has a right to view their opinions. But if your opinion is directly causing someone harm if it was aimed in a way that it was violent and it was attacking someone then I think people have a right to say that that's not okay. It's about respect and and more so if people start and and, and learn and respect other people's privacy and and their own sort of um, space almost you know and, and there shouldn't be it's not also always a predator type thing it's more to do with uh, you know online bullying um it's, it's a bit like being a politician i suppose you know you mm-hmm. you you're, you're in the public um arena all the time um and it's unfortunate that people think that they can um you know dish the dirt or have a go at you i think the free speech is very important though Um, But there's got to be a balance, and I think sometimes these days it seems to go too far and there's too much extremism.